Hi, this is Bob Daves, and I was just looking at some e-commerce news just a minute ago, and it was a, a, a article in uh, Business to Community, a, a newsletter that I get, and it said smartphones influence buying decision more than you you've ever thought. And as a person who deals in e-commerce all day, found the inter- the article really really interesting. It was talking about how smartphones are playing a more important role when it comes to making buying decisions and to just what extent smartphones are influencing e-commerce. And they really had some eye-opening stats in there. A company uh, had done a survey and they had some interesting findings showing 80% of smartphones and tablet users use their smartphones to make purchasing decisions. Mobile devices accounted for like 15.4% share of the total digital commerce spending worldwide. 50% of uh, overall online U.S. retail traffic, though, is not through a mobile device. It's through either a laptop or a desktop. But 55% of in-store shoppers have used a mobile device to search for information online while they were in the store. Listen, something else, 71% of in-store shoppers use their smartphone for online research, saying their device had become more important to them in their in-store shopping experience. And they had a breakdown of the shoppers, their age groups of using mobile devices to research those projects. 18 to 29, which I thought would be an extremely high demographic, was only 65%. 30 to 44 age group, 72%. That was the highest group that was using their smartphone or their tablets in the stores. 45 to 60 was 53%, and if you were 60 plus, just 32%. And it it asks the question, do people use smartphones or tablets for shopping? The total traffic online for smartphones was 33.7%, only 12.4% for a tablet. The percentage of sales for the smartphone ranked at about 10 0.7%, 0.7%, a little bit higher for the tablet at 12.4%. The average order value for a smartphone was $92.37. The tablet was a little bit higher at $98.56. But some of the top retail and shopping activities that smartphone users use, 43.3% use the smartphone in the retail location, 23.3% found the store location using their phone, they purchase goods or services 22.6% of the time. Compared prices at uh, 20.2. That's what we help with the Sherlock because it's got the comparison. You can also use the bar uh, the the barcode scanner. Uh, research product features 19.7%. 18% used it to make a shopping list. 17.6 to find out if the product was available. Uh, found coupons and deals 16.3% of the time. Used a deal uh, a day group shopping at 13.1% and used the mobile payment features, uh, pulling the sales system 4.7%. But something else that was kind of interesting 62% of mobile shoppers said they perceived information that they gathered from their mobile devices as more beneficial than the stuff they had in the store or product displays or the sales literature. So people are using to research to find out about products that they're looking at. Top product types for mobile shoppers that were going to a brick and mortar location, 60% was electronics. Believe it or not, 55% was groceries, 47% was apparel, and 45% was shoes, and 39% was health and beauty products. Listen, with all this e-commerce just getting started in the United States, see the United States is trailing behind in e-commerce because we have so many brick and mortar locations, people are still going out to brick and mortar and, and looking at things and researching things and, and trying to find out where they can get the best deal. You know, if they just use the Sherlock, it, it's a very simple process and they can find the best price on the internet in about 10 seconds or less. But these numbers in the United States will start growing. The numbers overseas are just phenomenal because they don't have all the brick and mortar locations. And most of the time, the only way that they can get it is to order it. So as the United States continues to grow and the economy shifts from the the brick and mortar stores to the click and order, stay tuned for more news. This is Bob Daves with some e-commerce news that you can use.